Today on Project Last Chance, we're gonna be installing our Holley Terminator X Max wiring harness, installing the front clip, and getting this truck ready to go to CNK Metal for final wiring and exhaust. Let's get after it. Full disclosure, I am not a wiring guy. Um, I can do basic circuits and basic wiring, but when it comes to building entire engine harnesses, I'm just not that guy. I don't have that capability. That's why this Terminator X Max kit is perfect for me. Check this out. This kit comes with the um, engine and transmission control. The Terminator X Max kit has your transmission control as well. The Terminator X kit is solely for your engine. So we're gonna figure out where we're gonna mount this today. The kit also comes with a main engine harness and every single plug on this harness is labeled. Your transmission harness, and again, every connection is labeled on this as well. Here we have our LCD display, so we're gonna figure out where this is gonna go. It also comes with this intuitive uh, installation manual. Now I've already read through this manual to see what it contains and it shows you every single connection in each harness and once the harness is installed it shows you how to set up your LCD display and get your engine and transmission up and running. So now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where we're going to route our harness and how we're going to get it through the firewall and to our engine control unit. Pretty much got everything sitting right where I want it on this engine harness. I've just been taking my time, zip tying everything up, making sure nothing's chafing, nothing's tight, and just making sure everything's got enough slack so that it looks nice and neat, but also is very functional. Wanted to say a couple of things. I had to relocate the fuel pressure sensor connection uh, on the stock intakes. I believe it's about midway on the intake, which that would have been perfect. But on this particular setup, I put my sensor on the back of the fuel rail. So good thing Holly uses split loom. That is that stuff super easy to work with. Uh, you just open it up, you know, move the connection to wherever you need it, and then put the split loom back on and tape everything back up. So you're not having to unpin any connections or anything like that. Uh, another thing I had to do was I had to order a new coil pack wire harness. This kit did not come with one. I have the originals but uh, they're pretty old, so I decided I'd just go ahead and get a new set coming in. They'll be here in a couple of days. As soon as they come in, we'll throw those in the truck. And then the last thing was I don't have a air temperature sensor right now. Uh, when we build our intake, we'll be able to install an air temperature sensor up there, so we just have a loose wire hanging up front with nowhere to go. So now we've pretty much got the engine buttoned up. I'm gonna jump on the transmission harness, and then we're gonna figure out where we're gonna mount our engine control unit. <laughs> Installing this Terminator X Max kit was super easy. I think the wiring was probably the most daunting task for me. I'm not a wiring guy, it's not my thing. I really hate doing it. But it was actually really enjoyable to be able to lay the harness out, figure out where I wanted to route the wires, 
where the connectors were that I needed to get to, and then even having the ability to manipulate the harness to what I needed for this particular install was really helpful. So I've reached about all I can do with this install. Uh, we're gonna get the truck over to CNK Metal. He's doing the full exhaust work. He's doing the full body harness as well as finishing up the vintage air AC kit, and he's gonna button up the Terminator X Max kit install as well. So now I've pretty much gotten everything done with the truck and we're ready to throw on the front clip. So let's grab some fenders and start getting this front clip put back together. It feels so good getting that front clip on this truck. We've pretty much gotten everything buttoned up for CNK Metal. I have a couple of small items to knock out, but I wanted to say thank you to Holly Performance for providing the Terminator X Max system for this build. Not only am I excited to get it up and running, but I'm also very excited to see how that system responds to the power upgrades we have planned. If you guys have any questions on this install, or if you have any questions on the build, Drop a comment below and we'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you've already done so, thank you for your support. That's going to do it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.